Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are back at the UG and we're having a tour of the student residential area. When I tell you these people live like kings, these students live like kings. I'm not even joking. You would not believe this is student residential area. That this is where students live. It's not the same in my country in my school where I went to. I'm not going to be talking much. Let's just get on with this video. Hey, welcome to day seven of our vlogmas. I hope you're enjoying it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get on with the video. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to this video. Today I'm at the University of Ghana, UG. Yeah, it's amazing here. Like it's so beautiful. I, I'm sure you've seen several of the videos already I've done here. If you've not go and watch those ones yet. So on this uh, on this video, right? We're going to so they were doing tour of the halls and Nancy is going to walk us through. So let's hand it over to Nancy now. Just so she can walk us through all of the halls in our day. So over here at the University of Ghana, we have a lot of amenities and things going on here. We have so many halls from traditional halls to a more contemporary hall, you know. Yeah, so we have five traditional halls and a number of, you know, new halls or more modern hostels also here. So it depends on, you know, like that, which one your money you can afford. So if you can afford okay. to be in the traditional, which is more affordable, good for you. If, it, if you want to be in, say, Pentagon Hostel also, they pay in the thousands of cities. Yeah, so that one too. And over there, you can even choose to be one in a room, two in a room, okay, so four in a room. Like a private yeah, hostel. Yeah, private hostel. Okay. And it has already, when you, all you have to go in with is your suitcase. It has television, it has wardrobe, it has the bed, refrigerator, AC, everything. So I think once in a while or once in a month, you have to buy your own electricity. Okay. Yeah, so there's a car, you just have to like recharge. Is there something where you can cook? Yeah, there's a kitchen. There's a kitchen. There's a kitchen. That's a general kitchen. No. Or personal kitchen. Apart from the traditional halls, yeah. that has general kitchens. All the other halls have kitchens. Okay. But they are not for you to cook there. I don't know if it makes sense. Okay, like if you want microwave and the rest no. of them. So individually in your home or in your room, each room has a balcony. Mm -hmm. It doubles as a kitchen. Okay, okay. So the balcony okay. is quite large. So you can put your cooking so, stuff there and then start to cook but all the halls have a bigger kitchen okay. where if you want to have a party sort of or you want the girls girls to go and cook and your back one is too small for you you can use the main kitchen so to cook. cook it doesn't have anything there i think the international hostel has a um, refrigerator stove already in the kitchen but the other halls you have to go with your own stove and cook oh but we don't use gas cylinders here okay don't use don't gas mind the school for us Bring your own, bring your own electric burner. So you just connect it and. Cook. But that is dangerous also, now. But I think it's safer than gas. Yeah, so guys, we are going to a Kwafu Hall, one of the traditional halls here on campus. So let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so there are a number of halls. There are missed ones. That's for the males and females. And then there is the only male and only female halls also. So our first stop for today is the Kwafu Hall. It's a missed hall. Meaning they are both boys, I guess, living in here. So yeah, let's go see what. I don't know why they want to hide 
So what you see this hall is their necks. They have three annexes. This hall. This one is the main one. So these are the annexes. So this is a coffee. This is a coffee. One, two, three. It has about four annexes. Four annexes. Yeah, what you see there. How much, do you know how much it uh, uh, cost here? Price range. Let me say, I don't know, but it should be a little ab about thousand or below thousand. But this is a, one of the uh, traditional. traditional. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Five. It has five traditional. This is one of them. Okay. So let's enter this. So the restaurant. Why enter the restaurant? Like one mess hall. That's like a dining hall for when the university was first started. So the idea behind it was students come together and then they dine here. They were not cooking separate meals. So as time goes on. The system changed and students are not able to make their own meals. So it was converted to a restaurant where students come here and buy food. And then they have a, a timetable for food. They have a morning session, afternoon session and evening session. But then you can just come here and you can just get anything you want at any time of the day. It does if you don't want to cook, if you don't feel like cooking because a lot of students don't cook. But yeah, this is what they are dining. Or oh, their restaurant looks like. So, guys, we are there. One of the hall that's hostel if you're in Nigeria, but here they call them hall. I'm here. I'm trying to get see if I can get into a new student's room or talk to any student here and make friends. We can see how inside of it look like. I'll tell them I'm an exchange student. I don't know. But yeah, let's go do that. There's a restaurant also behind me. You will see all of that in the video, basically. But yeah, I'm really excited. Let's go. The idea behind it was the dining hall and it's same in all the halls we're going to go to several other halls today just so we can see how similar they are it has uh, four annexes that's a very large hall there are lots of rooms here and it has a reading garden it has a private library it has a private barbing uh, salon for the boys and a hairdressing salon for the girls it has like a mini mat also inside which we are unable to access but if you want to see the full details of each hall and the rooms, you should go to Nancy's channel, Nancy Uswa, her channel will be on the screen. And then you get to see the whole halls in details and see everything the halls has to offer. So we've covered uh, the meal. So we've done a tour of uh, the mist hall and you have an idea of how the holes are. Now let's go to the single sales hall just so we can see how different and how similar they are. Because there's like just one single old female hall in school and one single old male hall in school. That's for students that don't feel comfortable living with the opposite sex. You can take either one of these halls. So let's go check out these halls and see what they have to offer or what's, what's in them basically. Let's go. Oh, get on. If you're still here, you're still watching, if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And I hope you're enjoying the vlog, Mars. Alone this Christmas, but I won't wait till next year to try. The only thing you home. What's the name of this hall? Volta. Volta Hall. Yeah. It's the only female hall on campus. Yeah. This is why I would like to stay from in school. It's huge. Okay. Okay, here, this one, this one thing, there's water. There's water here. You've been looking for water on the phone. Hey, <laughs> It's alright. Oh. So I'm still here. I'm in Volta Hall. Apparently, it's the only female hostel or hall in school. I keep saying hostel because I'm Nigerian. <laughs> I keep saying hostel because I'm Nigerian. We have hostels, not uh, halls. But there are halls also that we call them female hostel. This is the only female hostel in school. It's huge and it's amazing. I, I don't know. It feels as if um, it's a private residence. <laughs> yeah, it's not feeling. It's not giving me that whole. I think we've been to two halls so yeah. far and both they've been giving me the whole private residence. 
if you go to my house, you would know that this is a proper school. Like there are students oh, everywhere. Is really nice. It's, so, it's nice. so nice. It's so nice. If I'm schooling here for real, I think this is the hall I will go. For. But you have not going to the other house. Have you been to Legon? No, because this one is the old, uh, old female. Yeah. I would love to be in the female hall. Yeah. That you are more shield. Yeah. You can do whatever you want to do. Because I can walk around. And it's peaceful. It's you can so even hear the hear the best shipping. I think reading reading here would be. When I, when I was in school, you can't read inside your hostel. Noise. <laughs> noise. Eh? You know, people quarrel, people doing that thing. So you have to like go to the school library or wait for now. How we do night reading. People mm. do night reading here yeah. also. So we go to the There's classroom. 20, 24 hour study room. 24 hour study yeah, room. Yeah, it's not in the hall, but it's outside there. Oh, okay, you have study rooms. Yeah. Okay, we don't have. Uh, uh, let we me, have let me mention the amenities in the hall. Okay, yeah. Okay. We have a lot of, we have about three or four um, hair salons for the ladies. We have barbering shops. We have two restaurants. I will show you on our way there. For one is a dining, one is a proper restaurant. Vian for this hall food. alone? Yeah, hall? for this hall. And they have um, a lot of grocery shops and a boutique. And a boutique also. Yeah. So you don't even need to go out to get no, anything no, no, done. No, no. You can get your hair done here. All the homes get... are independent. Can you imagine? Oh. <laughs> what dino school in Ghana? Yeah. <laughs> it's not too late. Maybe I will do, I don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, but so yeah. all come, apply and come. Yeah, if you really, I one thing I've seen a lot is a lot of Nigerians then coming. Yeah, they usually go to Kumasi. That's the coming Kuma. Yeah, that's the ones I know. But she's telling me there are a lot of Nigerians coming. Oh, yeah, a lot of them here. So I've known, I've seen just one. So hopefully, I might, I might see someone there. But if you're a Nigerian coming to school here, pick you. I don't know why you could pick a Kumasi. Maybe it's cheaper or something. I don't know. Maybe it's cheaper. <laughs> I, I think it, I will check the fees online mm -hmm. and then I will differentiate it on yeah. the screen for people. I don't think this one will be too expensive because it's a public thing. Right? Yeah. So yeah, I'm really excited. So here. we are going to Vianney's Bistro. Okay, Vianney's Bistro. Yeah, it's just a corner. The name alone sounds as if it's one of those two <laughs> restaurants. It's not one of those local restaurants. <laughs> but it's exciting, really. Yeah. I really enjoyed my day. Thank you so much. You've been you amazing. Have been amazing. What? Because that was really okay. But now there, there's no free lunch, <laughs> so it's intense restaurant. Okay, so you can't buy anything. Can you guys go this one? Go that one. Don't you cut off. This one is so different from the the first one we visited. But the first one we visited was a mist hall. This is a, a single sex hall. The the dining the restaurant is no longer in dining. It's so different. I love how I just love everything about this hall basically. You definitely should check this out if you're a female student planning on coming to the UG to come at school. You should check this out. Really, I just like the ambience. I love the decor. I look, I basically love everything about it. Yeah. Now let's head on to the other restaurant. Because they have two here, like Nancy said. Let's see what the other is, restaurant has to offer. Guys, this is Vianney's Bistro. It's part of the Vulture Hall. It's their restaurant. So they have a dining hall and a restaurant, and this is it. You see what I like the Vulture Hall? It has a bougie restaurant. So over here, you can get your sandwiches, your milkshakes, your pizza, your samosas, all those cute, cute food. The other <laughs> restaurant is a, an outdoor restaurant where you can come and chill. See, everything about it's just amazing. Like, I've just been so wild. I'm like, wow, wow, wow. It's an outdoor restaurant. It has very cool ambience. You can come here to take very cool Instagram photos, which I did, by the way. Yeah, I just like everything about it. The next stop, our next stop for the day is the Commonwealth Hall. The Commonwealth Hall is a, a an all male hall. I keep I keep wanting to say hostel. So if I say hostel, you understand what I'm talking about, right? So it's the male uh, version of the it's the male version of the Volta Hall. This is the Commonwealth Hall. It has just guys here. So if you're a guy, you're not comfortable living with females. You want to be in an all guy hall where they have this whole. Uh, Brumas or you know how the boys they do their things and the rest of that this is the hall for you it's very gorgeous and, uh, yeah I'm really excited people are staring at me because I'm making YouTube on campus but whatever we have to work 
I hope we can't take care of it. Tell me if it's cool behind us. Let's go. Before we get to this video, guys, if this is your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'm talking really fast so we can leave here. Fast, <laughs> Subscribe, like, and comment. And let's go. God did his thing with ya Don't be a stranger, be my day Without you, this ain't a holiday So let me be your family this Christmas Let me be your family Let this be the season that you've been waiting for All guys hall mm -hmm. right it's very close to the hotel hall and it's just for it has this whole beautiful garden and then there is in fact it's amazing here but obviously nancy said you can't wear it if you are coming to this mm -hmm. room but if you wear it then they will all come outside and don't give you a parade don't give you a parade if you if you want the parade wear it when you are coming here if yeah. you don't don't wear it but yeah. i like it i like the garden it's so serene and it's so nice but yeah this is Como West Court. So we're going to end this vlog here. That's all I really picked for today. They are all a, school is not in session, so when they get back on session, I'm going to try and come back and do a more in-depth tour of the world, just so we can set, get to see inside of the rooms, and then maybe we can ask about the different uh, uh, prices, terms of um, rooms, that's accommodation prices, and all of that for anyone looking to come here and just so you can get to see the amenities inside the rooms also 
and inside there are common halls the reading halls the libraries the boutique they have grocery shop and all of that will be able to have access to that there but before then you can head on to nancy's channel and check out the ones you have done those are more detailed tour. if you leave don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one So